If the Jews have the gift of prophecy, it was because of the evil of Africa. And I dare say, I hear the Igbo say that they came from Israel. No, it is the Israelites that moved away from Igbo land into Israel. I hear the Igbo say that they worship like the Jews. No, it is the Jews that worship like the Igbo. And I say this not only and not to romanticize our culture and our tradition, but to remind us that for a long time we have judged ourselves too harshly, that the time has now come that we must recognize ourselves for we, who we are. You know, I told you that our civilization was interrupted, but even when it was interrupted, we were always alive to the fact that we must regain our self-esteem. And indeed, we regained our self-esteem. And today, as I speak to you, Africa has 55 artificial boundaries. We have come here today to dramatize the artificiality of those boundaries so that we may have that day, that day when I can move from Nairobi, Kenya, to Lagos in Nigeria without the necessity of a visa. I look forward to those days. I look forward to the days when I can move from Johannesburg in South Africa to Bangui in Central African Republic without the necessity of a visa. I look forward to the day when I shall move from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and I only have one currency to contend with, not 38 currency. I look forward to that day. I can we please have Professor Patrick Lumumba join us on stage? We're please, not worthy. Can we give him a resounding, no, seriously. standing ovation, please? Please. If you have because to stand, gonna, stand. Gonna, gonna. Welcome, sir. Good to meet oh. you, sir. Welcome, sir. Greetings, everyone. My name is M.A.P. Ezioku Bundu 1 in Biafra land. I believe all of us listening to that very powerful speech from Patrice Lumumba is very powerful, I must confess. But the question now is, how can we achieve all these things that he mentioned above? How can we get it right? How can we retrieve Africa from the European colonies? How can we emancipate ourselves out of this mental slavery and fiscal slavery? How can we stop the colony, the colonizations by the Europeans? Now, I want you to know that a lot of you, I know a lot of you is dreaming or are dreaming to come to Europe. A lot of you wish to be residing in Europe so that you can have a better life and a better future for your children but if i tell you that the better life and the better future for your children everything lies in africa a lot of you without me the more the greener pasture we are looking for is in africa but the question is how can we find this greener pasture how can we make it harvestable how can we make it to be ours now when you come to europe here do you know that a German citizen don't need a visa to travel to Spain? And a Spanish citizen don't need a visa to travel to Austra Austria? And Australia citizens don't need a visa to go to Switzerland, nor Sweden, nor Swedish uh, citizen. You don't need a visa to come to Italy. And Italian citizen don't need a visa to go to France. All the European Union countries are visa free and their border is free for them you can only see their custom in their borders some of them have agreement there will be no custom in their borders you can't see any custom looming around the street in any part of the country or inside the country their, own, their job is just to boundary now and the, are you aware that if an Italian man is traveling to Spain he don't need to change any currency and if a Spanish man is traveling to Belgium, he don't need to change any currency. And uh, if an Austrian 
is traveling to Sweden. He don't need to change any currency. All the countries that made up European Union, they are using one currency. You might decide to also have your own currency like some of them, but that euro is valid and is transact. Uh, it tra the, you can use it to make any transaction without looking for where to change the money. And that have made them to be more powerful. And that have made them to unite more. And there is a railway connection to all the countries. This is because they come together and then value their selves and put their selves first. Most especially, I will tell my Igbo brothers and sisters, the hours for us to stop claiming we are Israel, we are this, we worship like this. This is reducing our own heritage and our culture. That is reducing ourselves before others. We must be first of all put ourselves first before any other thing. And I want everyone to know that any day African man start putting himself above, making himself to be superior before these white people, from that day we will be loved and our people will be respected. We must learn how to stop making the white people, they are not even white because they are, they are just, a, I don't even know the color to, to, to use to qualify them. Any day we start making, reducing ourselves as an inferior before them, that day they will start respecting us. Look at how they killed Momo Gaddafi because he wanted Africa to start using one currency. Because he wanted Africa to have a railway that will connect the whole countries. Because he wanted Africa to have a visa free, to be like Europe. When you check the countries that are well powerful today, you will see that they put themselves before every other person and they play the, in, the politics of national interest. Sorry for that. Now, I want you to know, I want you also to know that everything Patrice Lumumba said here cannot be achieved by the, our politicians, nor our military. No. The people that can achieve this are the citizens, the African youth, the Igbo youth, the Yoruba youth, and the Arewa youth. Any day we come together and we say enough of the British colony and the French colony and the American colony with Belgian colony and the German colony. From that day, you will see the change we start. I will leave you here, but I want you to know that the future of Africa, the, the bright future of Africa lies in African youth and on us, the youth. We must lay the foundation and build a better future for our own unborn children. Our forefathers fought on the mind that they fail. That will not be an excuse for us to remain as a slave to those people. The hour and the time for us to rise up and finish what our forefathers started is now. We must say no to slavery. Let us come together. Ndibo, Kaimotano, Onaije, Aigeji, Dose, Wangi, before any other person. Kaikosini, Kle, Mundozo. Allow others to claim us. That's all I have to say for now. And I say, Mechuko Kikadiyama, bless you all. Let us rise up. If possible, we must also change that name, Africa. It's not ours. It's an, a, a very horrific name from Greek West. We must know this. We need to start fighting now before it may be too late. Thank you, I remember bless. I remember my humble self. M-A-P, Ezio One. In Biafra land. Stay tuned for more videos.